but basically the, how the binaural beats work is, for example, putting 100 hertz in the left ear on the headphones and a difference of 107.5 in the right ear. So the difference of 7.5 creates this whole focused brainwave state. So 100 hertz, 107.5. So it creates this differentio, a third signal inside your brain. Then there are other uh, different things such as isochronic tones, which if you if you heard about shamanic drumming, like the, the drum beat, like doom, 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 doom. After a while, it's kind of like what's going on. But if you meditate into it, it's like doom, doom, doom. You start getting deeper. So that pulse, the same with the gongs, how the gongs work. They work with a pulsing effect, which is in training your brain waves to deeper frequencies. So it's a, uh, the sound is very, very important. And sound is important for, you know, if there is silence, okay, you can have an experience, but to deepen your experience and to enjoy it, this is why sometimes I use the music as well. Um, there are, I think, seven or eight brainwave states. Maybe you haven't heard them all before. Um, the deepest is epsilon, which is uh, 0.1 to um, uh, three or four hertz, depending on what research you look at. Then there's a uh, delta, which is sleep. Um, then you have theta, or uh, yeah, theta, then there's uh, beta and alpha, then there's gamma, hypergamma, and then uh, lambda. Uh, epsilon and lambda are two ends of the scale. Epsilon is very, very slow pulses, so it's like doom, doom, it's like that. And then lambda is like a constant light that's on. If you imagine like a light or a pulse, it's just you don't even hear any pulsing. Tweet that down a bit more, you go to gamma, it's a bit you don't really notice a change. Um, typical old bayonet uh, light bulbs. This is more going to light frequencies, but the only way you can understand uh, sound is through through light as well. Where you know you have a constant light, which is typically like 40 watts or, or whatever, like you know 40 hertz. You, you get some resonance maybe on a camera if you're recording, but you don't get too much. You start to see a flicker around. Um, around uh, maybe 30, around 35 um, free, uh, pulses per second or something. But just your brain, your eyes, and your, you know, your ears can't recognize that pulse, but your energy can. Put down a bit more, you're going through like alpha and beta. Beta, you should be in at the moment. You should be wide awake, alert, listen to me, unless, you know, as you say, you go through different trance states and daydreaming. I expect that. I don't expect you to be present and listen to me the whole time. <laughs> yeah, be here. Um, put on a bit, bit, bit more, you have more of a, a rapid uh, a pulse, which is a theta, which is typically like meditation. Go down a bit more slower and it's a bit more uh, pulsier, a bit much slower, which is sleep. So you have to remember, like, you have to know that your brain has like this rhythm, this, this pulse that's, that's going on. So throughout the day, it's going through different pulses, different trance states, where sleep is much slower. And then when doing much more faster activity, learning, doing activity, it's, it's, it's like your hardware of your brain is pulsating at a faster rate. And then through the epsilon, it's just very, very, very slow because you're entering into very really deep states. But it's not always true because people who have had their brainwaves mapped, who are like trance mediums and healers, and they should be in theta, they're in different ones. So it's, it's, the thing is you can listen to frequencies and it will entrain you, but again, it's not always the magic bullet. The magic bullet is you, you know, and the only limitation is that of yourself. So if you're limiting an experience or something you're getting to, again, perhaps it's the mind chatter that's taken place or you're overthinking things, really try and let go. And if you haven't let go yet, just relax.